The idea was to try to create a, a journal, um, but also with the look and feel of a magazine. To try to capture um, sort of, a, I think, a new generation, a less ideological, less polarized generation, um, move past sort of the old debates and discussions and, and, if you will, wounds of the 1980s, try to reflect, I think, which is a very sensible and broad center, which is pro-democracy, pro-market, but also within that, sort of the extension of rights. You know, America's Quarterly does something almost no other magazine does, in that it focuses on Latin America, which really is generally forgotten in the media. America's Quarterly also gets beyond the usual tropes. It gets beyond democracy and drugs and trade, and it gets to all the other stories, all the other issues that are out there, some of them national debates, and some very local, what local entrepreneurs or civil society organizations are doing in their community. The quality of the debate within the organization and within the magazine are quite complementary, and is that it's part and parcel of the organization, but it enjoys editorial independence. It publishes articles from leading thinkers, from experts on different points of view, from foreign, former presidents, foreign ministers. Any publication that helps to elucidate the issues of Latin America in English, in Spanish, and in Portuguese, uh, both for Latin Americans and for the rest of the world, is extremely valuable. And in that sense, the America's Quarterly is doing a really eminent job in contributing to the overall uh, airing of debate and ideas and creating a, a sort of an outside the box talking shop for Latin America. What we've also been able to do is actually take research teams to these areas in far flung places in Peru, in Chile, Colombia, Guatemala to look on the ground at what this is. America's Quarterly does not want to look at policy and social issues from 10,000 feet. We want to look at them and how they affect people's lives. And it is extremely important for all the inter-American system to have constant dialogue, exchange of ideas, discussions about uh, the future, about where do we want the Americas to go to. There's been two issues on social inclusion, one issue on social mobility, an issue of the emergence of the middle class. It's been analyzed from different uh, points of view. So I think in that sense, America's Quarterly really has been an important contribution to the policy debate uh, and has made it very accessible for people who would not normally be following this conversation. There's a famous New York Times journalist, Scotty Reston, who once said that Americans will do everything for Latin America except read about it and understand it. What we're trying to do at America's Quarterly is test that proposition. Can we actually make Latin American content and tap into that passion for the region. Exciting enough that people will actually read about it and understand it. I think we can.